everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, tell me, do you love clothes? Are you one of them who only talk about fashion, uh, about international brands or designers? Then, well, yes, this lesson is for you because here on the board, I have some vocabulary related to fashion. So we are going to start with the very first word here that is fashionista. So tell me, are you a fashionista? Well, who is a fashionista? Well, fashionista is someone who is not only interested in fashion, but is totally obsessed with fashion. So someone who knows and follows all the new trends, have the best of uh, clothing, the best of bags, be it hair or accessories, they are completely devoted to fashion. So such people are called fashionistas. So someone who is obsessed with fashion. Okay, another one that I have for you here is a conservative dresser. So who is a conservative dresser? Well, someone who doesn't like to expose, someone who doesn't like to show off too much skin. Now, you will come across many women who do not like wearing short skirts or do not like wearing tops without sleeves or showing off their cleavage. So they are all, fall, they all fall into this type that is conservative dresses. Okay, so someone who do not expose okay so they're always in covered clothes right then the third one that I have for you is a trendsetter well a trendsetter is someone who follows a style okay or brings up a new style rather brings up a new style and then helps it to make it popular so for example uh, there are so many actors who started wearing hairbands, okay, the men wearing hairbands. And then I noticed that there were so many men who started following that trend, who started wearing hairbands. So those actors are trend setters. Or these days, uh, this is new look, the worn out denims, okay? So even when you go to the market, you go to the shop and you end up buying new denims, they are either a little faded or uh, they are worn out, okay? They are also called as taggered denims. So where does this all come from? Well, someone who started this style and it was so popular that people started following that style. So he or she was the trend setter, okay? So someone who starts a style and then it becomes popular and people start following it, okay? The fourth one is high street fashion. Well, high street fashion is, uh, you know, when you end up buying clothes uh, from uh, shops like H&M, Forever 21 or Zara, well, these old brands are high street shops or high street brands. So they are affordable, but they also follow the new trends, okay? So they're not too expensive, okay? An average person can definitely afford uh, high street shopping and, uh, and they look really classy, okay? So that is high street fashion. So something which is affordable, and trendy. Okay, and then the last one over here that I have is thrift shop. Well, a thrift shop is a shop that sells old clothes or secondhand clothes.
So it is secondhand clothing. Well, usually thrift shops sell secondhand clothing to raise funds for church or for some charity. So, uh, in fact, internationally, I have seen so many thrift shops uh, who sell secondhand clothes, and that really helps uh, them to fund for charity. Okay, so those kind of shops are called as thrift shops okay so these are certain words that are related to fashion and now we are gonna look at some words that would help you to describe fashion it is always nice to talk about fashion right or someone who is extremely fashionable then here are some words for you the first one is stylish well stylish is uh, someone who is stylish is someone who is extremely fashionable who follow the new trends and they're always dressed in a very classy manner so they are stylish so someone who is very fashionable now even the word chick has the same meaning chick also means to be stylish or fashionable However, when you say, um, oh, did you look at Karen's new chick jacket? Okay, so chick sounds a little nice because uh, it's a French word, but the meaning is just the same, being classy or being stylish or fashionable. Okay, so you can use the word chick as well. And the third one is in. Well, in well, here when I write in, it means that, uh, oh, this blue color is so much in these days. So, in, when it comes to fashion, means something which is really hot. Hot selling or is extremely popular. So, when I say that, oh, leather jackets are so in these days, this means it's extremely considered uh, hot or very trendy, okay? That most of the people are wearing the same thing. It's a popular style. So that's why I have this word in here. Then we have trendy. Now, trendy is also pretty much similar to in or something which is really hot and something which is extremely popular these days. Like I said, uh, worn out denims are so trendy or this new color, the new pink, the carrot pink is so trendy. So something which is very popular is very considered to be very hot and is pretty much in. Okay, so that's the word for you to describe fashion. That's trendy. Then I have vintage. Well, what comes to your mind when you use the word vintage? Well, something which is old but extremely stylish and of a great quality. So something which is old, stylish, classy and good quality. Oh, her dress is so vintage. So vintage, uh, vintage clothing might be uh, worn by others before okay so these clothes are old but they're very classy they're like timeless beauty and they are of good quality too okay so that's vintage clothing right and then the last one that i have for you is classic the black dress is always considered to be a classic so again it's timeless So it's classic means, you know, certain clothing or certain bags or certain accessories are classic because uh, be it however old fashion or even though if it's not trendy, even if it's not in these days, it's still considered to be classic. The reason because uh, it's one of the best fashion. For example, if you are wearing a nice pretty black dress, it's always considered to be classic. Whether black is in or not, but it is classic. So these are some words that would help you to describe fashion. 
So this brings me to the end of this lesson. Hope this lesson is helpful for you to talk about fashion and please use it and do write in to us if you enjoyed this lesson. I'll be back with a new lesson. Until then, you take care.